The other day, my daughter asked me, um, Mom, what is it that you do? Because she had been with some friends and she didn't really quite know how to explain the kind of work that I do. And one of her friends um, had said to her after she said that I was spirit, spiritual and into spiritual work, oh, is she woo-woo? And uh, of course, my daughter said, oh yeah, yeah, big time woo-woo. And one of her other friends had said, what's woo-woo? So I'm going to try and explain a little bit in this video for any of you out there that don't really know what spiritual is and what woo-woo is um, to give you a bit of an idea of what the kind of stuff is that I'm involved in. So spirituality is the practice of being in touch with yourself in multiple different um, levels of consciousness. So what that means is that you're aware of who you are as a physical human being on the planet, but you're also aware that there's another part of you that is non-physical. And you can call it your spirit, you can call it soul, you can call it higher consciousness, you can call it your higher self. It's that part of you that guides your intuition, that kind of runs through your heart. And it gives you messages and signposts and ideas and things that your rational mind hadn't come up with yet or might not ever have come up with. And your connection to both of those things shows that you are spiritual. Now, there's different levels of spiritual work that people do. And a lot of times you'll hear that someone is an energy healer. So that just means that they're able to access, um, let's call it the field of consciousness, which is really just the energy that we live in. So everything is energy around us and we're all vibrating at a certain frequency. So these are kind of spiritual consciousness terms, meaning Everything is vibrational. If you look at quantum physics, our bodies are vibrational. The earth is vibrational. Sound is vibrational. You are vibrational. And your vibration is at a certain frequency. And the lower the frequency, the more sad and depressed and not good you are. And the higher your frequency, the better you feel. So a lot of people who are spiritual are able to what's called tap into that frequency in the field. They're able to see sometimes things um, that normal people can't see. So for example, clairvoyants are able to see your aura, your energy field that's around you. Um, medical intuitives can see things going on in your body. Um, people can see actual energy. Maybe some people can see angels. And so these are all other forms of energy that are in our vibrational field. If you're a clear audience, you can hear things. Maybe you hear voices and it doesn't mean you're, you know, mentally ill. It just means that you're aware that there are other frequencies going on around you. And if you're a clear sentient, you can feel these things going on around you. So people who are mediums are able to feel the field and they're able to connect to people who have passed on. So people like family members who have died or, um, you know, spirits that are living in people's homes, uh, maybe past pets, pets who have died that people want comfort. And most of the time when you're going to use a medium, it's because you want closure. You want completion. You want to know that that person that you loved is okay. And if there's anything that you need to know uh, that maybe they weren't able to share with you before they passed on. Um, and now the term that I'm gonna use is passed through because they don't pass on, they actually just pass through into another vibrational field. So a psychic is someone who can also read the field and potentially they are also a medium because uh, you'll find that spiritual people are like multi-talented, let's say. Um, 
but psychics are able to tap into the timeline that you're living on and they're able to kind of read possibilities. So we exist in this vibrational field where everything is possible, which I know that's hard to believe in the world that we live in, but that's really the reality. We can create anything we want depending on what vibrational frequency we're living at. So psychics are able to tap into that and tell you what's possible for you. They're also able to see, and I say that in quotation marks, your timeline and see what would have happened if you had done X or Y. So psychics and mediums and people who read cards like oracle cards, tarot cards, angel cards, and I can do all of these things, they're able to really tap into that level of knowledge, that consciousness, that information, let's say, and they're able to bring it through to you to assist you in the life that you're living. And it's not that you can't do this too. Everybody is able to do this, but it really just depends on what level of life you decided to come in with. Did you decide to not access those gifts? And it depends on how many lives your soul has had and some of the things that you've done in past lives as to whether or not you're gonna bring forward those gifts or even be aware of them when you're living your normal human life. Now, someone like myself, I'm considered what's called a galactic channeler. And what that means is that I'm able to tap into the vibrational field that is not on earth anymore and exists more in the galaxies above us and the universes above us. So I have the ability to be able to connect with other levels of consciousness that are potentially not physical anymore. These are often beings that have been human and they've had all their human lives and they've evolved, they've ascended, let's say, to a very different vibration and they have a higher level of intelligence and technology than we have here currently right now on planet Earth. And they're able to come through me and I'm able to translate for you what their messages are. So what that means is that I can tap into all of these different levels of frequency to bring forward different kinds of messages. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see that there's a lot of videos there that are actually describing some of the messages that I've received over the years. And so I explain on YouTube what each of the groups were that came through. Most of them are groups of non-physical beings coming from different star systems or different galaxies. And the messages that they've brought through, through me for you so that you can kind of navigate what's going on on our planet right now. And they're very aware of all the possibilities and of what's potentially going to happen. So they're able to help us to cope with the changes that are happening. Some people don't watch a lot of YouTube. They like to read things or they like to listen to podcasts. So what I've done with my work is on my blog page on my company website, Bosey International, B-O-S-I-E, I've created a blog post for every single one of my channeled messages. So you can go on to the blog page on that website, boseyinternational.com, and you can read all of the messages in their entirety. And there's a link there on each of those blogs to Mixcloud. And on Mixcloud, you can actually listen to the audio that came in through my system, through my voice, through my intelligence, through my brain, from these energy fields, telling us what they wanted us to know to be able to help us to live an easier life here. One of the other things that I can do is I can actually tap into someone else's let's call them guidance counsel. So a lot of the clients that I work with are beings, human beings, obviously, 
but they're beings that have had many other incarnations in different star systems, in different lifetimes, on different planets. Um, maybe they're from the Pleiades or Sirius or the Arcturians or the Andromedans or all different kinds of interplanetary things. And I know it sounds like Star Trek and it kind of is, um, but you, you know, if you're connecting with me, it's probably because you are vibrating at that frequency and your soul wants you to know something that's going to help you to be on the planet right now as we're going through these changes. Some of the messages that I bring through are very broad and they're able to help you to deal with the changes that we're going through. And because energy is a frequency and it's all happening all at the same time, these messages don't get old. They're, they're not only for a specific time frame. So you can listen and watch YouTube and Mixcloud and read on my website all these channeled messages. And even if they came in two, three years ago, they're still relevant for today. Because depending on the level of, let's call it consciousness that you have, self-awareness of who you are and what's happening and your own spiritual journey, you're going to read the ones that resonate for you right now and they're going to be so helpful so you can check them out and see what feels good for you and is good for helping you